<clears throat> what's up guys just doing a quick review of the new uh, tires I got and where I got them from uh, my stock tires were dry rotting uh, pretty bad so they had lost a good bit of tread and grip so I was looking to get a large larger wheel and tire size too uh, I hate how the tires don't take up the uh, whole uh, wheel well or anything like that but uh, anyway I started looking on car ID and they had a lot of good stuff I called and talked to uh, customer service and they were uh, pretty friendly and really helped out with everything and I was looking for uh, uh, some new wheels as well to, uh, to get rid of the old Koenigs that I had on here. I didn't have too many miles on them but I just wanted a bigger size and they were only 14 by 6s so uh, anyway I uh, called and talked to them and uh, they were super cool and they uh, give out discounts and stuff and surveys once once you're done with them uh, they give them after you give them a good review they'll send you like a discount or something like that so uh, it was pretty cool but after talking to them they didn't have anything that I wanted in stock or they would have had the wheels or they would have the wheels one week and then the tires the next and they wouldn't have them at the same time and vice versa and whatnot but uh yeah, I I ordered a lot of things from them before, and they've been really good. But I was I was pretty bummed with having to wait a couple weeks to a month for the tires I needed. So uh, I decided to go with Tire Rack, and uh, Tire Rack was pretty cool. Their customer service is really good, just like Car IDs. Uh, they were they they pointed out a lot of good things and uh, answered all my questions. So they again they were pretty top notch. So uh, at the end of summer, they had a lot of good deals with their, uh, or sales, I guess, with their old summer tires or whatever. And I ended up snagging some, not summer tires, but all season tires. And I uh, snagged the Hankook Ventus V2s. Uh, they're 195 55 And I grabbed some white uh, Sparco Aceta Garros on them. Uh, I went with the white just because it's different. I know they get diff uh, pretty dirty quickly, but I think it looks different and cool with being a silver car and whatnot. So, that, I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't really care what anybody else thinks, but yeah. Uh, delivery? Delivery took about four to five days. <coughs> it was pretty fast. Uh, I think they ship out from New Hampshire or someplace on the northeast coast. But uh, it was pretty quick. I ordered them on a weekend and they were here by the end of the following week. So that was fast, I guess, from what I've experienced. And the uh, the shipping that they came in, the, the box was really set up nice and protected the wheels all the way. So that was, that was awesome to see. And, uh, yeah, uh, the wheels, I went with the bigger wheels, and they're 15s, but I can't think of the exact amount. It's, I think it's 15 by 6, or, but obviously it's four lugs, so it's still matching with the old Hyundai Accents. Uh, the wheels and tires, I can't complain. I've already got about 4,000 miles on them, and... They're still holding up nicely. The whole price, process and pricing costed about $850, which uh, Car ID was going to be about $900. So definitely a little bit of a change there in the pricing, but it wasn't too bad. It's definitely, definitely holding up nice for what I needed. So uh, I can't really complain. Again, Car ID is still really good. They just didn't have any of the things that I wanted in stock. So I went to Tire Rack, and Tire Rack hooked me up with some pretty nice stuff. So yeah, that's really about it. Just wanted to do a quick overview of the wheels and tires I got, and how they differ from Car ID and uh, Tire Rack. But yeah, there's hopefully there's a good bit of tread line you can see. They're nice, nice and deep. Uh, there's not too much snow around here, so I don't have to worry too much. But uh, it, I'm sh it'll get through the winter. And uh, over the summer, I actually got in a crash, and I took out the front bumper. So they replaced it with, I think, a 2009 bumper on the front. So I have the open, open slots for fog lights, and 
I don't really like that how it is now. So I might be doing some fog lights soon or something like that, but I don't know. It's still Hyundai and it's still slow, so I don't know. Well, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, just drop them down below. Thanks.